encore portable. According to one of the ladies held hostage, the robbers shot into the roof three times as they requested for the cash. Charity Kambasiba explains one of the two stood in front of the shop and the other came in attacking one of the clients. The armed robber later held them hostage in one corner of the shop demanding money. Charity narrates the incident amidst tears. After they attacked the client, we realized they are armed robbers. He ordered we stay down while we ran towards the cashier's booth. But he stopped us and ordered us to stay on the ground. We didn't see anything again. One of the staff who spotted danger earlier was able to make her way to the washroom, placing a phone call to a neighbor, Collins Dapa, for help. Gertrude Aqua explains one of the two had her, but was unable to find her hideout. They went to Nomurem or Rema and Okaches or Retruska. All of a sudden, I didn't say any nickel. They came in claiming they wanted to withdraw cash. Later, he brought a gun from his trousers. Then, he ordered us to get inside and stay quiet. It's me, I'm advanced, Nicole Ryo, who's shooting on my fire phone. As he struggled with a client, I got into the washroom on their blind side. I placed a call to a client to call the police to the scene. I didn't witness anything else from there. <laughs> Collins, who attempted to enter the shop to help the staff, was shot at the entrance of the shop. According to eyewitnesses, the operation was very brief. After the whole operation, the people fled on a motorbike and made gunshots to ward off all people who attempted to chase them. From Kumase, for Joy News, Nanea Ojima reporting.